ChatGPT has been one of the internet's main topics of discussion for the past five months. Whether it's new AI advancements or robots, everybody is going crazy over what the future holds for artificial intelligence, and many people, including myself, thought that ChatGPT was the future of research, programming, and a plethora of other things. But I'm confident that there is something that is even more advanced than ChatGPT, and it's only been out for less than a month. This tool is known as BARD, an AI chatbot created by Google. Now, you may be asking yourself, how can this compare to ChatGPT? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you six different reasons as to why this is not only better and more powerful than ChatGPT, but you'll also see why this power can be scarier. So let's get started. Reason 1. Data Source Ask ChatGPT anything and it will probably have your answer, especially ChatGPT4, which has absolutely fantastic reasoning capabilities. But no matter what, ChatGPT is trained on a predefined set of data. This is why if you ask it a question that's more relevant to very modern times, it will tell you that it can't answer due to the fact that its knowledge cutoff is in 2021. BARD isn't like this. It runs on an infinite set of data, which is absolutely insane. This means that it is actively gaining knowledge even as you're watching this video. There is no cutoff for BARD at all. Reason 2 2. Real-time research This relates to the reason above. BARD has a way bigger data source, but I'm going to go a bit deeper into the research aspect. The unique thing about BARD is that when you ask the bot a question, it'll run it through Google instantly, and you'll get an answer within a second. So again, if you ask the bot a question, it'll first try to understand the context of that question. Once it understands the context well, it searches all over Google for information that is relevant to the question. But but it doesn't just give you the answer right when it finds all of the necessary information. It then processes the information that it has and then produces a response that is relevant to your specific question. You may ask the bot, give me five different dog breeds. Now, obviously, the bot has the capability to find all of the dog breeds in the world, but if it gave information with keywords, then it wouldn't be relevant. So once it has researched Google and has found all of the dog breeds, it'll process the information and give you five Five of the best ones. Reason 3. Human Likeness This might sound weird, but BARD is more like a human than ChatGPT is. Your conversations with the bot will feel more natural. This is because BARD's dataset also includes human conversations, so it understands how to interact with humans and how humans speak to each other. That's the cool thing about BARD. Instead of just knowing the information through sources and getting keywords, it actually processes how an article was written. Therefore, it understands jokes and sarcasm a lot better than other chatbots, including ChatGPT. Reason 4. Visual Responses plus Google Search Integration This is a really good one, and it just goes to show how much more advanced BARD is than ChatGPT. Because of the fact that BARD is directly connected with Google, it's able to give you images from Google as well, so it's like an extremely intelligent browser. You can ask BARD to show you pictures of a beautiful city. Let's take Dubai for example. If you ask BARD to show you a bunch of beautiful sites in Dubai, it will show you those sites with no problem. The Google integration is great not only for the image part, but also because it's integrated with Google Maps as well. So if you ask Bard to show you good restaurants, it will give you exactly that. And this could help and benefit you in many ways. Let's say you want to find colleges or workplaces. You can be very specific with Bard, and it will find you what you're looking for. So if you want a college with a good computer science program in your city, it'll find that for you. Or maybe you want to find a place that's hiring and is a grocery store. It won't have a problem with finding you either. By the way guys, I'm doing a $100 giveaway. That's right, because of the fact that you made it this far into the video, you're able to get $100. All you have to do is subscribe, like the video, and comment revolution in the comments. I'll announce the winner in the next video. Reason 5. Voice. Now this is something that ChatGPT has never even shown signs of having or that it's coming. While using Bard, you can use voice to speech. So you can say something out loud and the bot will type it out for you. It will then do what you ask it to. The cool thing about this is that it's a lot faster and it's kind of like the AI is interacting with your voice. It obviously can't hear you, but the microphone writes everything very accurately. I won't get too technical, but the bot does this by converting your voice into an electrical signal. Once Bard processes it, it can understand everything you say. Pretty cool, right? Reason 6. 
under development. Bard is still under development and it's in its beta phases, but even under development, it has access to a data set of 1.7 trillion words, while ChatGPT has access to 155 billion words as a fully developed chatbot. Bard has so many new improvements coming and its creative ability is only going to get better and better. Now, I'll be honest, I use ChatGPT and I can easily say that GPT has better reasoning and creativity, but Bard has a far wider variety variety of knowledge. If you need to know something, go to Bard. All of this is scary. I made a video about ChatGBT many times, and in those videos, I discuss its abilities. The fact that its creativity is so advanced is beyond impressive, and if it was used in robots, it would be highly impressive. But now, what's even scarier is that Bard is able to actively search the internet, and it can access articles and information released seconds before your prompt. If this AI is used in robots, then the robots are constantly constantly getting smarter, so they aren't just restricted to a certain data set before a certain date. Now, the AI is able to completely access anything and everything it wants. I'm very excited to see what more Bard is going to bring to the world. If you want to stay posted about ChatGPT and Bard's advancements, make sure you click the subscribe button. This is the go-to place to find out the latest info. Don't forget to like the video because I've got some great information coming in the next video. Stay tuned. In my last video, I I discuss every job that will ever replace AI. Make sure you watch it to know if you're at risk or not. That's all for today, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.